Hello and welcome back to your favourite sisters. Ooh. We're all back after the summer. <laughs> Hope you've had a lovely summer. So today we are bringing the hood to sisterhood. This week's guest <laughs> <laughs> has got a career in music over 20 years. She has been delivering some of the hardest hitting bars on the scene. Um, and recently we've seen her evolve as an actress. You might know her as Mandy. Um, <laughs> but today we have the amazing Nole with us. Woo! <laughs> I know you hey, like that hey, intro. Thank you for coming. <laughs> thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, good. <laughs> We're so excited to have you here. Yeah, thanks yeah, for coming, babe. Thank I'm excited you. to be here. Good. <laughs> We've had a lot of chat before we start recording and some of that can't ever make it. <laughs> <laughs> make <Okay>. sure. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> um, so everyone knows you as a rapper and an actor now, but we want to know about you before Nole. Tell us a little bit about you. Oh my God, where do I start? Um, all right, I come from a mixed background. My mum's Greek Cypriot, my dad's Jamaican. I grew up in Fulton Heath, South London. I was South born there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just used to like, English was my favorite lesson. Um, everybody thinks that it would have been music, but mm -hmm. I feel like I got my craft from English yeah mm -hmm. um and yeah like I just got into rap I would say when I was around 15 years old I heard some boys on the back of the bus rapping and I thought I could do that and then it all just went from there to you was a girl honest. that sat on the top deck at the <laughs> back <laughs> you were one of them girls <laughs> be quite honest so were we, no, 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 you, know what, you know when they used to like play the beat on the window and all yeah. that but to, do you know what to be quite honest yeah look every time I say this people are like how can you be an introvert because of what you do, mm -hmm. but I am actually quite an introvert. So I would be like be on the bus while I was at the front. Oh, yeah, okay. just to myself. Like I would hear the guys like they was older than me, like from other schools and that, like you know, like rapping on the bus and that. And I thought to myself like, oh, I I could do that. Mm -hmm. And then it just kind of because I used to do poetry anyway, so I was like, this is quite similar to poetry. So it just kind of like went from there. Okay, so you combined the music yeah. and the poetry. But I was a bad, I was a bad, yeah, I was a bad breed. <laughs> in, in my teens, I was. I was we in don't a lot. believe it. No, I was. I was. You get my mum on it. No. She'd be like, you don't believe. You don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so, where did your passion for music come from, and who were your biggest influences? Oh my God. Um, Apart from I, the boys on the bus. I feel like, I, do you know what? I feel like a lot of people would think like that it was like grime and stuff like that but it was really like east coast rap like new york okay. rap like listening mm. to like a lot of like um mob d oh, i love mob d yeah. um big l d block I was about to say, mm -hmm. you know yeah like <laughs> I, f yeah. I, I think sheet luch is the worst in the yeah. Pop, but yeah I, styles p is like yeah, my yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, and I feel like as a, yeah, like as a teen listening to him as well, because I was quite angry as a teen and like a lot of the stuff that he was yeah. spitting, like, was, Relate. yeah, it was like really <laughs> angry kind of stuff. Doing that, that yeah. angry, yeah. It was like, do you know what it was for me? Like music was like, was a, it a release? yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was, yeah, it was a release. And I, I, I think I enjoyed the fact that guys would just be like, kind of like stunned, like, oh my gosh, because you, you know what it's like, like in like male dominated fields mm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They don't expect you as a what female to be good at yeah. what they do. So I think I got a buzz out of that as well. And I yeah. feel like that kind of like pushed me kind of like even further. So I was well, just gonna ask, was I was just about, sorry, I was just about to say that. Like, so how did that work? Like, how did you find it like navigating such a male dominated industry and like what sort of things came up because of that? Do you know what? Yeah, I, I wanted to do it so much, yeah. And I was so like rugged and like mm. I was proper, like I was like proper, mm tomboy then do you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah. so like when i used to walk into them atmospheres like i just didn't care but did you feel about the guys do you know you what like... did you, it wasn't so much that i felt like i because i felt like i was good at what i do yeah, yeah, so yeah. it mm. wasn't like i felt like i needed to prove myself but i feel like it wasn't until you get around them and you start feeling the atmosphere yeah, yeah, when yeah. you feel the energy off of others so yeah. i would go in there with like a pure energy just knowing that i'm good at what i do yeah. and just wanting to do Mm. what I do without any politics but then obviously when you get around yeah the guys yeah. then you start to feel I think the first time I ever felt that was my first ever show and it was Sidewinder yeah and um 
it was me, Getz and Crazy Titch on the stage and Crazy Titch kept passing the mic past me, like like over me to get or whatever. Okay. And I think that's the first, don't get me wrong, like, as time went on, he learned like, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Like mm. what No Lay is about. And um, obviously he's got respect for me now. To be quite honest, he should have had it in the first place. But, but as a woman, it was hard that's for you to prove yourself basically then. Do you know what? I just feel like, I feel like it wasn't about proving myself. I felt like they knew that I was good and they felt threatened because I of I was gonna say that because you were the hardest. I don't, you, I, yeah. I don't feel like it was, it was it a thing where, that you was a yeah, woman. I don't feel like mm. it was a thing where, oh, she's a girl that's rubbish. Like, mm. don't give mm. her the mic. I feel like it was more of a thing of, you out like, a lot she's of cold. Like, this yeah. is long. Like, yeah. that's that, that's that, that's what yeah. I think. Because whoever yeah. followed you afterwards mm. is gonna look. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. But in 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 all due respect to Getz, like he did, kind of like have the mic off of him and pass it to me. Shut, yeah, he seems like that type of energy. Yeah, like, like, I feel like, that yeah. That he's actually, he's, he's my boy. son's family. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah he, he, he passed the mic to me kind of thing and I just did my thing. But I mean, I feel like as a female in general, you're always gonna, you're always gonna come across that yeah. because mm -hmm. you get, you get like insecure men. They want to be the dominators they want to be the breadwinners they want that to and a lot of it does come from like social construct and did you always feel like secure in them spaces like did you feel like yeah because i used to yeah. roll with some heavy yeah. hitters mm -hmm. so <laughs> I, I, I never felt yeah. like anything could happen to me because yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. of the kind of guys that were around me mm. so yeah, yeah. I was alright. Mm. Mm. So you've been involved in some iconic rap beefs, which uh, no one survived. <laughs> <laughs> Just to say, personal shillings. Yeah, shillings. <laughs> um, do you feel that it's time? To, do you feel that this had a benefit to your career? Do you feel like it's time to? Would you do any more, or are you at a point now where you where you trying you're trying to step away from it? I never said that I'm trying to step away from it because mm. you know what? I'm quite like um, temperamental. Mm. So the reason why I wouldn't say I'm going to step away from it is yeah. because if I say that I'm going to step away from it and then it happens down the line, it's going to be like, <laughs> I thought she said she was stepping away from it kind of thing. It's like, don't get me wrong. Like I, I've never been really like a clash MC. Mm. I know a lot of people think that, yeah. but I've never gone out of my way to try and be a clash MC. I've just mm, literally yeah. responded to people that chat shit. Mm, That's yeah, it. Like that. Yeah. that is all it's... A, it, that's all it's ever been like mm. and a lot of people have tried to like kind of paint it in a way because i'm quite a strong character mm. you'll always get that thing with me where it's like people will try to paint like i am the bully in that situation yeah. like i created it and i started it but i'm kind of a person that i see bullshit mm. and then i call it, call out. it out but, yeah, yeah, but yeah. then you'll have people that was doing the bullshit and then when you call it out they'll start to act like there was no bullshit oh, oh, did you, did you, did you, yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah kind of thing well. yeah, yeah, kind of I mean, thing so yeah. but i think now i'm at a point where it's like i have to be more on a thing where it's like there's so much good things that are happening for me mm. i can't allow these people to ride my coattails do you get what yeah. i'm saying and yeah. I, I feel like that is what I would be doing by, don't get me wrong, like since Top Boys come out, a lot of people, like people are trying to draw me out. Mm, do you get what I'm do. saying? Yeah, they're yeah. trying to draw me out, but the only, I know but the only reason they're, now. the only yeah. reason they're trying to draw me out is because they want to ride yeah. the yeah. wave that's yeah. coming with Top Boy. They want yeah. to be kind of like within. They want to be a Mandy, but they yeah, they want to be, be a Mandy, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah they want to be kind of like within yeah. all of that. Yeah. I just think. For you, then why, why would you? I'd, yeah, yeah, and I just think with music, yeah, I kind of feel like music is like a release for me, and mm. it's something that I can always do. Whereas in like with acting, it's kind of like it's something, it's something new to me. Like it's yeah. something new that I'm embarking on, and I'm taking it really seriously. And I'm not saying that I'm going to stop rapping, but it's like. The two worlds are not the same. Yeah. Did you have like so I'm not gonna cross them. or anything? Or... No, no. Mm. To, to to be honest, like when I um when we shot, not the season now, but the season before, they sent they asked us basically if we wanted to go and sit with a gentleman called Martin. He's like an acting coach. Mm -hmm. 
And when I went in there to talk to him and that, he said to me, like, I'm glad that you didn't go to theatre school. Mm. And I was like, why? He said, because I feel like you're made for film. And I feel like if you went into theatre school, yeah, he, yeah. he said, there's a lot of things that actors pick up in theatre school mm -hmm. that goes against them. Yeah. Mm. Kind of thing. He said, yeah. maybe you want to learn, like, maybe the technical part of it, like, you know, like crying on cue and stuff like that. But he said, you don't, like, you don't need it. You come across very real, mm. very raw. So I was like, yeah, cool. yeah. I was like, and I like cool. that. I was yeah. like, all right. If we move yeah. away from music, we've got to give you your flowers for Mandy. We all love oh, Mandy. Hey, 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 we all love you guys. Come on, we all love you guys. Mandy's a great character. Oh. <laughs> no, we love the character. It was so well, well written. And yeah. I think it was yeah. really well written for you as I well. I relate to Mandy, you know. Mm, yeah. I always stand on what I believe in. And I was like, yes, girl. That's a process worth worth processing for, isn't it? How did you get that part? Oh, we're gonna have to take it back. So basically, I was in the summer house one for like five minutes, like mm. in prison. I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So yeah. a lot of people think because like I'm a rapper that the part was just handed to me, but like it wasn't. I had to go and audition. So I went for my audition in like 2013. Um, I auditioned for two roles. I auditioned for Kayla oh, and for Mandy. I initially wanted the role of Kayla because Kayla had a bigger role, whereas in back then, obviously, Mandy had, like, five minutes in jail. Yeah, yeah. So I actually wanted to, to get the role as Kayla. Mm -hmm. But um, I ended up with the role as Mandy, and I was like, I'm happy, but at the same time, like, I wanted that role. But now I just realised everything that went on then has led to this moment, mm, you know? Yeah. Now it's all in good not... time, yeah. If it happens yeah. for a reason. It's like, it? Yeah, that's, exact, mm. that's exactly it. So, like, you had the little thing at first, and then look, the character... I mean, even people online are saying, like, the, it was one of the best acted, one of the best... Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and obviously then you, you get a the... few haters that talk nonsense. Oh, yeah, but... of course. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's just... It, it just is what it is. I think that what the problem is in our society and where we, where we come from is they want to see gangbangers all the time. Mm. Yeah. I think if I came in there, I was pulling out straps, you know, I was <laughs> shot in, I was doing all that, like, whoa, 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 mm. and acting all mad, people would have been like, yeah, like, and, and gas with, but I feel like the, the women that kind of, the mothers, mm. do you know what I'm saying? Mm. The people, the sons of the mother, like the people that can more relate to the, the character of Mandy, I think that they get it more everyone so. Everyone needs a Mandy in their community yeah. to pull everyone together when it's time. Yeah, you know, and they, stand you know, up they said that yeah. the protesting, it weren't realistic, and then look what's going on in Peckham now. It's well, like, do you know what I was going to yeah. actually say? And I Googled this because, and it happened. So it's at 2022 in Peckham, mm -hmm. there was exactly the same thing. Immigration turned up to an estate in Peckham, and they tried to take uh, one of the guys out, and the whole estate surrounded the car, and they they tried to let him go, let him go. The and you see that? Yeah. I, we had the script. This is no word of a mm. lie. I read that story and I had had the script like two mm. months before that. Yeah. And when I read it, I was like, oh my God, they're going to think we copied it from this. Yeah. But I swear to you, it was the yeah. script, like it was there already. And yeah. I was like, wow, like what even made you think of that? Like, yeah. this is. Because I was going to ask, is it inspired? Yeah. Is it inspired? No, it wasn't. Yeah. It was written, the yeah. script was, it was written before. Yeah. But obviously, Ronan, oh. Ronan's witnessed stuff like that though. Yeah, yeah. He's seen things like that like i think that people are very close-minded in regards to like even saying that the protests and the riot riots ain't realistic we had a riot across the whole of yeah. the uk yeah, of course yeah. Yeah. years back like mm. they they mashed up everything Everywhere. what do you mean it's not realistic yeah, yeah. like everyone's always got something to say you know Negative, i just think it. that um people like to see kind of like one i think the youngers they like to see kind of like one storyline, but we can't always feed them that storyline. I think mm. it's so easy for me to play a bad girl because mm. of where I come from. Yeah. I just go on there and be myself. <laughs> yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? That is the yeah. truth. Real, and I, I didn't want to do that because then I'm not acting. This is showing your versatility. If I go on there and be me, yeah. that's not acting. Mm. No, this, yeah. is, this is showing your versatility. I wanted mm. to be and like... Also, what are we teaching young yeah. people as well? We want to be like, you know, good role models for our young yeah, people as well. But, you know? But that's how it is, isn't it? Like, the, the, the kind of narrative that's fed to them. And I feel like the, obviously, no spoilers, but I feel like Top Boy had to end the way it ended to show them mm. this is this what happens. This is how it ends. Yeah. Yeah. This is how it ends. Yeah. How much of you is represented in Mandy and who was you drawing upon when creating her character? Mm. I think I did. I think that I did draw elements. I think, like, the, the parts of where she has a lot of empathy... Yeah, because like m my people say it to me all the time, like you've got so much empathy, like because I do, like I I do tend to be. I think people see like a harder side of me, mm -hmm. 
I'm in the public, but I am a person that has a lot of empathy. Like I care for people. I don't like seeing people suffering and going yeah. through a hard time. So I, I do feel like in certain parts, there were a lot of elements of me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like, but then there were elements that weren't me. So like the slap. Mm. That weren't me. Oh, Do you get what I'm like saying? Yeah, like just, just, the... just swallowing it and being like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just, yeah. just getting yeah. lashed and then yeah. just looking back yeah. and saying, that ain't gonna I change like, nothing. Do you get what I'm saying? It would have been all like, 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 you practice with him, so he basically so so when she goes like that, I had to kind of move my head, mm. right? And then they put the the yeah. noise in it, yeah, okay. basically, okay. and then that's so how it's formed. It yeah, it's crazy. It was fun though. We were just being real with Jack that day. She needed to hear that. It was. She needed to hear it. I do. Yeah, f- yeah I do think that um, character wise, like mm. she she would have needed to hear that, obviously, because. That's very like motherly a, with yeah. the little girl, though. No, I am, I am, I am, I am. I think I, I think that I draw inspiration probably from that. Mm-hmm. There were parts where I was sitting down with her real mum and I was like, oh, yeah. I don't know if I like that, like them doing their thing and all of that stuff. Like, And mm-hmm. I feel like as a mum, I wouldn't... I wouldn't react like that. Like mm. yeah. him in my yard yeah. and, and yeah. that running. You'd be out the door. Yeah. There wouldn't be no talk like that at the table, you know, like mm-hmm. about oh yeah. it's all right and no, yeah. no, no, as long as you da, 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 I don't feel like but she was so mature that little girl. She's like, yeah. yeah, I need to do this. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 But she's she's Crazy. a Brit, so it's about her. she's a brilliant actress and mm, she's she she's she was great. I see her going, you know, going going far and yeah, she's really good. Being able to at the scenes that they were doing as well. Mm-hmm. It's not easy, mm. especially at their age. At their age, yeah. Mm. So like, yeah, like I take my hat off to them, if I'm honest. Mm. Yeah, they yeah, played think, them parts really well. I think they delivered yeah. it well. Cause it must be so awkward. Cause those things are definitely, gonna be awkward with adults. Definitely, right? so 100% with all the people. For, Cause a lot yeah. of what, people don't see what's going on on the other side of the camera. Mm. There's so much people there. They're like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> like you've got an act and then you've got the AD, you've got the second AD, you've got the next AD, you've got the, the crew that run around, you've got this person, you've got that, you've got all of these people on the other side. Mm-hmm. Basically the whole film crew just standing there looking yeah. at you while you you act out your scenes, mm. you know? So of course it, it it's hard. Pressure. Yeah, no, yeah. I thought, I thought you came, your relationship with her came off really genuine. Like, yeah. it seems like you got really close for your filming as yeah, well. Yeah, because we, for the last um, season before that, we had some scenes together, but mm-hmm. they didn't make it to the cut. Right. right. So, and then they brought her in for this season. But some of those scenes were quite nice as well. I liked the scene about the glasses. I felt quite sad mm. uh, about that. But I feel like she delivered it really well. Yeah, she's mm. amazing. Uh, Lola, can I ask? Um, so what do you say to the people online who are basically, who are a bit disappointed with the latest season of, of Top Boy? Because I think what some people are saying is it wasn't bad, but they felt that there was more um, put into the first and second one. What would be your response to that? I would say that everybody has their vision for how something mm. is supposed to be. Yeah. So you've got the cast, us lot. Yeah. We have our vision. And then you've got the writer that wrote the script. Mm. He has his vision. Mm. And then you've got the director, director that has their vision. Yeah. Then you've got the editor that has their vision. Then you've got the people at home that are watching it that mm. have their vision. <laughs> no one is ever going to be happy. Ever. Mm-hmm. Because everybody yeah. has their own vision. And also, they're never going to take into account all the things that go on. Mm. Like, even the season before that. Yeah. COVID was alive and kicking. Mm. So the, the stress that we were going through and the restrictions, mm. because there were a lot of restrictions put down. You can't yeah. film here. You can't do this. You can't do that. Mm. And working around all of those things and working around even certain restrictions that were going on with the season that's just come out, you know, I feel like sometimes it will show. Yeah. But it's like, do you want people to deliver so you have something? Could Because they could just turn around and say, fuck it then. Mm. And you get nothing. Do you get what I'm saying? I feel mm. like for what we were going through at the time yeah. and the amount of time that we had to deliver it in. And mm. obviously 
having to put it into six seasons. Yeah. yeah. I have no idea why. Yeah. All I know is that they said it's six. Yeah. It's six episodes, sorry, not seasons, six mm, episodes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I was just short, I was just it? like cool and just yeah. there to just to just do a job. And I that's just it. wanna know who kills Sully. That's it. Yeah. So do you have any insight? That's actually <laughs> be, 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 do, do you have any insight to who to who body Sully? Oh yeah, she's yeah, not gonna yeah, tell yeah. us. Of course she's not gonna tell us. <laughs> do you think there'll be a spin-off? There's Are we be. gonna see a top girl with no lay? Yes. Come on, please. I don't know. We'll be in it. I don't know. There's so, there's so much talk at the moment. It's just like, I don't know. For me, it wasn't rushed. For me, it was that they needed to meet that end because yeah. if, you're, if you've not seen it, don't listen anymore. But mm-hmm. I feel like they needed to meet that end because it shows the reality of road life because yeah. road life isn't this big, amazing, happy ending for a lot of people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It does end in I death or prison. Or yeah. I think it I was think, right. Well, I think... Considering that they had six seasons, they did really well. They won a yeah, gold because I, I remember. Don't forget, like I'm there. We're filming, so I know how long we had to film and how hard it was. And that one small protest scene that you scene that you saw, I was in the sun for days on end filming yeah. that. Like I was so like it. The, it was scorching outside. Like I felt like I was gonna pass out. Yeah. Like we was out on that block filming every single day just to deliver. Mm. that protest that you see like i'm yeah. talking hours upon from morning until evening like mm-hmm. for days for days on end so from my point of view watching it i don't feel like it was rushed i just feel like the only thing that we could say as in it being rushed is the fact that because it's in six episodes of course it's going to be more rushed than the rest mm. because mm. they're they they are delivering something to you in six episodes that usually they, they usually they would deliver in eight or ten episodes yeah, yeah. so of mm. course you have to fit more in. Of you course. Know I mean? And I think I do think that they executed it. I think what they gave them or gave everybody, they executed it quite well considering in six in even yeah. I thought, I thought, Jesus, how are you not gonna do this in six? Yeah. yeah, there was a lot in there. Yeah, in six yeah. episodes, yeah, yeah. how are you gonna? There was happens. so much going on in, in, in yeah. six episodes. I thought, how are you gonna like how are you gonna make this happen? But did you ever they feel did. Like, did you ever feel like certain characters, like Jack, for example, mm. there were some people saying there was like Jack wouldn't do that. Do you feel like, or do you feel like it was an important? Because I feel like it was quite mm. an important she stole message the, uh, to see the bag and stuff. Yeah, but then there was Jack wouldn't do what? Jack wouldn't stole. Jack wouldn't do Still that. Yeah. All right, I'll be honest. Yeah, I'll give you a bit of honesty. Mm. When I first saw what was written for me, yeah, I was like. A lot of us were like, Ashley, we was like, you know, I had a conversation with Ashley as well. And we was like, oh, I don't know about this, this protesting and all of this. Like I said, I just think that Mandy just needs to come for you lot. Like, because what you <laughs> not did to Driz, like what you yeah, not did to Driz. Yeah, I said, I said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have taken no job from Sully finding me jobs or money or mm, none of that yeah. like and, like in real life I would just want you lot to die that's mm. it but then I had to get my acting hat on and be like don't get yourself confused like you're here to act you're yeah. here to de- like you're basically here to deliver and you're here to do a job and I feel like with Jack it definitely is out of character mm. but I feel like with the viewer what you have to do is you have to take yourself away from who the character was and understand that she lost her sister. But she lost her sister. Yeah. Yeah. So she found her sister her dead drops. in the bath. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah, that, well, it, that made sense to me. But I then, like, I but, get but it. then to <laughs> them, they're yeah. pro- but then they're probably looking at it like, wouldn't she have just left? Mm. Rather than rather than doing what she did. But yeah. she was fighting a cause, mm. wasn't yeah. she? she was but like, I feel like if they was given what they expect, yeah, then it would have been boring. Who's talking? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who's, I think who, Jack who, needed who, to evolve anyway. Yeah, who's gonna speak? Like if it's just like it's the same thing, like what did they want yeah. her to do? Yeah. Just keep Listen, shot in for Sully and do yeah. Shane and just do, do like mm. with this baby in tow. She's gonna yeah. roll around yeah. in a range yeah. with a baby. Yeah, like, yeah. they just they, they just they, they just needed <laughs> like a change of story and the yeah. fact the fact that she was able to adapt to the story. Mm. 
she's brilliant isn't shows she? yeah she's she's brilliant. Brilliant. Shows, that, she shows that she's a good yeah. actress yeah, you know amazing. and I, I just think actress. but i think that people you like you'll never ever be able to please people mm. people you got people out there they'll feel like you did the the most amazing job but they're still gonna turn around it because some Very people bad. just want to be haters yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's it that's it yeah like if you if they see you swimming they'll say it's because you can't walk across water mm. like they, 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 <laughs> this, this is how some people yeah, are like that's that's we mm. touched on it before we started how do you deal with um haters how do you deal with trolls we see we see a great response for you I dealing no, with I'm the, oh, on because Instagram. i'm the better troll though <laughs> that's the thing <laughs> I'll share it. Do you know what it is? It's because I feel like I'm a better troll. So I will like, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Some things like, it all depends on my mood. Mm. Sometimes I see things and I'll be like, oh, what was the one when you were like, thanks for talking about my... Yeah, oh, that was yeah, funny. Yeah, because he was like, he, God, I, just thought, in the picture, I just thought I it was outrageous. I just felt mm. it so outrageous that is he that said... Is your girlfriend? You had, is that your sister? I thought you had outstanding, you outstanding, had outstanding tits. tits. Yeah. Keep up the good work. And it's when you just, said, give them a bath to reach. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? Because I just felt like, do you know what? That was just a joke. Like, I feel like yeah. sometimes people feel like I'm coming for people, but sometimes it's no, like... No, you are funny, though. No, sometimes you are funny. I just, I like sometimes I'm a post. troll. Like, sometimes yeah. if the mood strikes me, but it's not like I reply to it, because I get hundreds yeah. of yeah, stupid yeah. comments. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. sometimes I feel like back in the day, like, my, I had thin skin. Mm. And things would bother me, but now I just people say so much like on 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 the yeah. internet. And what I've noticed about human beings, we become like upset by like the hate comments. Yeah, mm. and I could become fixated on it as well. It's almost just being like, yeah. if, if, We just want to hear good if, things. If, if all you're the getting time. hundreds of comments of good comments, mm. why are you concentrating on ten yeah, bad ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, I feel like as human beings, we're so sensitive, like, mm. and we need to stop being like that because mm. you're, well, you're, ta anyway. you're taking time out of your day. Like, <laughs> I bothered you so much to the point, yeah, mm. that you felt moved enough to write something mm. under my pit that shows me that I, I've had, I win. I've had a lot of trolls. Yeah, yeah but do you know why it is? It's because <laughs> you trigger something inside of them, yeah? Mm. You have something mm. that they don't have. Yeah. And they don't yeah. like it, be it whether it's looks, whether it's confidence, whatever it may be. Mm. More time with people that troll you, it's because they see something inside of you mm. that they don't have. A lot of people yeah. as well, they can't stand the fact it's like, you've got all these fans. Mm. All these people love you. Yeah. Who are you? Yeah. Yeah. There's like, people that think that... someone over. I'm yeah. like, I did it. It's just the love. No, but there's pe but there's people that think yeah. like that, you yeah. know. And yeah. what you have to understand as well, like social media has placed everyone on a platform together. Where mm. I look at a lot of trolls as having like mental illness. That's how yeah. I see it. That's how I see it. If someone goes out of their way to insult people, like I'll I'll scroll on um social media, and I'll see things that I don't particularly like, mm. but never will you see me comment on any of these things because you know. the fact I, I don't like moving. something, yeah. Yeah. Keeps just I want to make don't someone matter. feel that shit. Why it, would I do but that? But it's like, irrelevant. It's horrible, Whether that. I like something or not, it's irrelevant. Yeah. Mm. My yeah. opinion my opinion doesn't matter. People might have their way life. to DM you horrible stuff as have well. Like, always, do you get that? You've always been that way though. You know, no. You said that obviously you had like thinner skin. Like, no, it used to bother me. Would you respond? It used to bother me. Like, do you know what? Sometimes I respond now, yeah, but I swear to you, when I respond, people might think that it's because you're bothered. I don't ever respond because I'm bothered. I respond, I find find it so funny like yeah, sometimes yeah. like when i respond and i have a laugh about it or i yeah. cuss someone it's 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 like water for ducks back to me Ooh. i've been in this industry for years yeah. so yeah. i've been insulted yeah. for many 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 years yeah. after a while you become yeah. so used to it so yeah. it's just it's just i find I've got it fixed skin now definitely yeah. i find it's it's so much i find it i have it kind of funny now if you're like going into yeah. acting, acting <clears> and music mm. are you gonna do you think you'll be able not to respond so much if you're trying to I, go into a I, different Do you know what I or... feel like, yeah? I feel like there's certain things that I wouldn't respond to, but mm. I feel like UK are so, like... Um, mm. They've they got are. this stush thing about them mm. where it's like, well, you're a celebrity. You, should, you shouldn't acknowledge nothing. You shouldn't, yeah. you, you shouldn't yeah. bad no one up. You shouldn't think... Yeah. You see, in America, they don't care about that. Mm. They will drag you if you chat nonsense. Mm. And then talk yeah. about it on Black TV. And, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. And nobody cares got about 50 it. Cent and I feel, people I feel yeah. like yeah. there's this assumption, yeah. yeah. I feel like there's an assumption that if you acknowledge certain things that you're not a professional. Mm. Yeah. And I do think to us, yes, 
to a certain extent. Yeah. But I also think that people are human. Yeah. And I feel like if you feel like to obviously if you're sitting there day after day after day after day and yeah, you're just yeah. you're just yeah. arguing people with say everyone. You're better your, than that, don't uh, they? You're better than yeah. that. Why are you responding for I'm you're better than that? I'm not better than that. that. Like, I'm, I'm not better than that. I'm on my Like leave me alone. Like what do you mean that I'm annoyed? Do you know what? I want to think you would never say that in real life. In my face. You're doing it online. It winds me up. But it's not like But it's always like that. It's always I've seen people that have said things online. Mm. And they are just. It's your delivery, yeah. though. It's yeah. your, your clap They're just mice when you see them. Yeah. Your I'm, quite yeah. I'm quite partial so nice. to kicking a troll back under the bridge. She's, yeah. she's terrible. <laughs> oh, she loves she it. Yeah. Yeah. And again, it's not like you. It's not because I'm bothered. Sometimes you're right something, and sometimes I just want to correct you. I'm like, yeah. no, you're dumb. But that's why show... on TikTok they always yeah. delete it after. Yeah. Like you, you'll respond to them yeah. and they delete it because mm. I think with a lot of people, a lot of people talk for the sake of talking, and they never think you're going to see their comment. Yeah. More time, it's not for you. Yeah. It's for everyone else. You have to. I understand, yeah, there's a lot of people out here that are very insecure, yeah, and they seek validation from getting likes. Mm. So when someone disses you, it's in the, it's sometimes they don't even care about you. It's in the hope that all the other people are going to see it and the other yeah. people are going to laugh with them, they're going to like yeah, their comments. That, yeah. That's yeah, what it is. Especially yeah. the red just, pill lot. Yeah, a lot of people just yeah. do it they're because they want... with women as well. They yeah. love to, like, they just say something to a woman and then go, oh, she's triggered. I hate that. Mm. When they start yeah. on a woman, but they like, drag her and they go, oh, you're triggered. It's like, no, actually, Actually, you're here yeah. triggered by me just existing right yeah. now. Do you know what <laughs> I mean? All I'm doing is breathing. I'm just here <laughs> and you're but triggered But I feel like they that. are definitely more triggered than yeah. the women that they make out are triggered. Otherwise, you lot wouldn't be holding, making podcasts about women. Yeah. 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 A, lot, a, lot of, a lot of these guys, you have no careers without talking about women. Yeah. Like, you have no but... content. There is no there is no content other than talking about women. Yeah. and Single mums. If, if, you, if, yeah. you, look at, oh, if you look at, there. like, a... Um, a podcast like the Fresh and Fit podcast, even the women that they bring on, they bring on women that are not very articulate. I've said this, mm, yeah. Mm. Like that's the kind of women they bring on and it, it, they do that so that they can have one over yeah. mm. on women. Yeah. yeah. That's all it is. And a lot. I feel like a lot of it like stems from a place of, of trauma. That's how mm. I see it for a lot of these males. Like, because why else are you on these mm. podcasts saying these things? It just don't make sense. Yeah, yeah it's true. But yeah. yeah, back to the thick skin thing, I've just... It's like Water for Ducks back now. It doesn't... What can we expect from you now, then? Are you going to do more music? Are you going to do more acting? I'm just going to do, do both. I'm just going to... Oh, yeah. I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to yeah. do both. I just feel like with music, like, obviously, that's always going to be a part of me. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But, like... Have you got an agent, Lola, for mm. acting? No. Okay. Have you got anything else lined up at the minute? Like... I've got oh. a few things going on. Okay, you can't tell us Like, shit. in regards mm. to, like, Sky and Go BBC, on, I've got something. something. I'm not allowed, because <laughs> I'm on yeah, NDA. Yeah, is it the NDA? Like, yeah, it's the what, NDA. Yeah, but, like, yeah, them, we, we, we don't have like NDAs. Like NDAs. <laughs> but, like, I, I, do, yeah, I do have some stuff. I, I have some stuff coming mm. up. Why like, was she dressed like G.I. Jane the other day? What's that about? Oh, yeah, I was shooting. I was shooting. I was shooting a new music video. That that turned into a meme. Did you see it? It turned into a meme. They was like, all right, you're taking the protest thing too far. I was like, oh my God. I don't think I prepared myself for what was coming. Yeah. Do you feel like you've done Mandy justice though? Do you know you said yes. when you got the script, oh, you, you weren't yeah. too short at first. Yeah. I feel like yeah, I did. I feel, at it. The reason why I feel yeah. like I did is because I separated myself completely yeah. Yeah. From, yeah. From, yeah. From, from myself. I feel yeah. like if I went in there trying to like like being myself basically and having a power trip and being like, oh, like yeah. Mandy wouldn't protest or Mandy mm. wouldn't let Jack slap her or mm. Mandy wouldn't let Sully talk like this or do mm. this or kill Driz or da 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 da. Mm. It's like, they're all fictional characters yeah. Mm. Yeah. that were created and Ronan wrote the script. Yeah. So really and truly, only he can really say yeah. where he thinks it will go because yeah. he's I think you've opened yourself up now to loads of different kind of characters and different worlds. Yeah, because I feel yeah. like if I went it, at first, you know, I was a bit like kind of thing with the protest mm. thing because, like I said, I just wanted to go in there and just be crud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then I realised that, like you said, it opened me up to other... Because you're versatile. You can play different parts. Because oh, they're, yeah. look, so they're looking and they're not thinking, oh, okay, well, it's easy for the... For, 
them to play road because mm. that's it's easy for them to play yeah. road. That's where yeah. they're from. Exactly. Yeah. Do you know what but I mean? Ashley Waters show because when he did, I, I won't say what show it is because I think it got slightly cancelled. But when he played a police officer, and he played I haven't it seen so that. Oh, is that with, well, what's his the face? person we can't mention? Uh, yeah, can't yeah, yeah. Okay. But Ashley Waters played that part of a police officer so well that you was like. What? <laughs> no, he's Hold a, he, on a he is he is a great actor. He's a great actor. Him and Kano, Kano's brilliant. Kano's as well. great. Yeah, they're, they're I think the level of emotion brilliant. that they was able to do that, especially in the last episode, that last scene that they had after he shot him, even that exchange, even that like you should have come because to you've me, got, bro. Yeah. If you think about it as well, yeah, it's the end of an era for them. Mm. Yeah. So there was probably a lot of real emotion going into that yeah. because it's like although you're not actually dying, yeah, you are dying. Mm. Yeah. This is the end, like, yeah. and I think that's what it is. That's why they was able to convey their characters like that because it's emotional. I felt emotional, yeah. Yeah. so I can't imagine mm. how Kane and Ashley feel. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because even if you look at one of like the earliest mm. pictures for it, when they're sitting on the car, they look mm. so young. Yeah, they yeah. do. They got baby yeah. faces. Do you know and what Sean I mean? Was in so, that, one, yeah. that one as well. Yeah, so it's guy, like yeah. I see a to them, the it must have been so like. Emotional, yeah. like, that's probably what it is. Quick question, a so little it. bit random, but obviously Drake, did Drake fund the last series? I think so. Did he make an appearance on set? Did you invest No, it? Oh. I didn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> I, do, I do know that was he, he was listed part as a of it, but I do, I, do yeah. you know what? I know that he's played a large part in it, mm. but I'd be lying if I said, like, I know exactly yeah. the part that he's played. He's I, just, I, just, I, just, I just know that he wanted to bring it back when yeah. he saw the Summer House that ones. Drake, man. Yeah. yeah. love you for that. Yeah, we like Drake. <laughs> he's big on the um, UK scene, isn't he? Yeah. Drake's all about the UK yeah, scene. He, loves it, yeah. he, he loves definitely it. wants to take this Canadian. over there. You know Canadians are very different to Americans, but very similar to the English. Have you noticed that? Yeah, 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 the, yeah the Canadians, yeah. they do show a lot of love yeah. Yeah. to the UK. But yeah. then I can't, I can't, I get a lot of love from... Yeah. America as well. I just think it all depends on who. It depends on the people, I would mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you dropping next for us? Oh my gosh. When's it out? Oh. <laughs> I think in the next couple of weeks, I'll be dropping something called the tea. Mm. Oh, people think because okay. of the name that it's going to be some controversial. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, I was going to, yeah. Mm. But yeah. Every, every, everyone was in the comments like, the tea, the tea, yeah, give us the tea. Yeah. Kind of thing. And yeah. it's we like, want the tea. I'm on. not all, guys, I'm not always controversial. <laughs> Sometimes I can have a bit of fun. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not, yeah. 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 Your, vid your videos and your visuals are always really fun yeah. as well. Yeah. Is that you? Is that creative element yeah. you? Yeah. yeah, I love yeah. it. I think in my depending on the videos that you're talking about, when I was managed by a gentleman called Ahmed, who I'm still good friends with, he was very much into like, just be your wacky self kind of thing. So mm. depending on what videos you're talking about, he did contribute to some of those creative direction wise. Mm -hmm. But I just look to go into the videos and just be myself and just kind of like, I'm not trying to be sexy or if yeah. it comes across sexy. You're very it comes genuine. Sexy. You're always very like if you've not, got good energy, not, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, you've got really good energy. And you're very you're just you. You're very authentic. Mm. And I like Thank that. You. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, we like we that. love having real girls, don't we? Yeah. 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 No, I was gonna yeah. say that. I was gonna say team. like this is the first all female podcast. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There's not many there's not many female podcasts. I mean there's about... other female podcasts, yeah. but there ain't none that have, have not like us. Oh. Have oh. Invited, <laughs> that have invited me. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> well you're now an honorary member <laughs> of Sisterhood. Sisterhood. Yeah. yeah. yeah of you're course. welcome back yeah. anytime. Actually, do you know what? Let's flip it. What's coming for you guys, actually? Because you lot are asking yeah. me all the questions. Oh, oh, what's oh. next? Are we taking this to TV, baby? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Urban Loose Women. No, yeah. I, I can yeah. imagine. Yeah. No, I can imagine. Yeah. I think no, you guys would be really to. good. We want to. Yeah. We, yeah. We're heavy on giving people a voice, real people mm. to come share their real life experiences. Yeah, because I've, I've seen like a few clips and things that some of it can be a lot more it deeper. quite heavy. Deeper yeah. and yeah. heavier, yeah. which is good. Like, yeah. there's not a problem. When I come out of my story about domestic abuse and things like that I'd suffered, I wanted to then set up a podcast Cast that kind of yeah just help other women mm. come and mm. do the same thing as me because I found that was a huge relation yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah. I feel and like a lot it of is women definitely well to that. So that's why we yeah. I feel like women up. need to see that as well. I feel like they need to see people like themselves doing good yeah. things. Yeah. So well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so it's negative been so into good. positive. That's yeah. that thing. It's good. This yeah. has been amazing. Yeah, it's having been amazing. You having you having thank you. Got, I'm, I'm it's gone so quick. Cool. It's, it's gone so quick. Yeah. Yeah. It's gone so quick. Yeah. But thank you so much for thank coming. Got to give you your flowers once yes. again. No late yeah. girls. Come on. Man,
Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Oh, yes. Don't forget to like. <laughs>